friends. Okay. A short one. Now close your eyes. And tell me what kind of story you want to hear. A monster story! A monster story? But there's no such thing as monsters. Yes, there are. Have you ever seen one? No. See? How about a story about a princess and her father, the king, who loves her very much? Daddy, your female characters come off a little superficial. Well, not this one, because this story, the princess was the most beautiful in the whole world. Really? What did she look like? Well, she had beautiful long brown hair, gorgeous hazel eyes, and her smile. It was just about the most precious anyone had ever seen. One day, when she was all grown up, her prince did come and made her the happiest princess in the whole land. Why does a princess need a prince to make her happy? Do you want to hear this story or not? <laughs> Come on. Lie down. These need to be analyzed for the board meeting tomorrow. Good morning, Jennifer. You look lovely today as usual. No offense, sir. You gotta be kidding. If you can't handle it, just say so. I'll find someone else to do it. No, I can handle it. God, I hate it. You and I are both educated men. And we both know there's been some questionable things done in the name of the war on terror. On our side, I mean. Our enemies don't have that moral dilemma. It's what separates us from them. And I'm sure you'll agree that torture is unacceptable, whether we do it directly or through some foreign proxy. Either way, it's unacceptable. It's proven to yield unreliable information, and, and it undermines everything we stand for. So I created this program as an alternative. The methods are humane, and the results are 100% reliable. Just as you volunteered your information for this report, our subjects give up theirs. Of course, the role of the interrogator is still a very important one. That's why you're here. But as you're about to see, that role has changed. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, Michelle. Are you Darren Routier? Yes. Were you involved in a plot to commit a crime in your home on June 6, 1996? No. Did you yourself stab Darlene Routier on June 6, 1996? No. Do you know exactly who left the sock in the alley? No. Can you name the person who stabbed your sons? No.